on it. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half. A follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Look at it! Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? Cute! It's actually pretty cute. Hi! Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm... Uh, oh, this ought to be good. Sh Reynolds, Shelly Duval. Shelly Duval. Ah, Shelly. You're mine. I see what you did there. Very nice. You're mine. She's, uh, she's dainty yet powerful. Well, I loved her in The Shining. The they are mine now. Put him in my pocket. Put you. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, I've actually got to get up there. Ah. Okay, now how do I do that? I guess I gotta go the other way around. Excuse me. Okay, excuse me. Well, I got that turtle, that's all that matters, to be honest. I love it. So I have to go up there. Quick sippy. Lovely. Ugh. Beer can. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. A bit annoying. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Oh. Were they the ones that did it? Bro. Imagine if it's Julia. <laughs> She just came here like, ugh. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Mm. Can I not pick this up? Damn it. I wanted to clean it. I wanted to keep it clean. These damn whippersnappers, man. How dare they? Can't believe they've done this again. Oh, there's loads. What is that? Go hell. Oh, they they did that on purpose. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately and on pants i knew it the moment you said you found their trash <sighs> these idiots are gonna pay do they realize this is how people die i mean what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on and god forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control what do you want to do i want you to go find them and then what i <sighs> i haven't thought that far ahead that's not true everything that comes to mind is illegal <laughs> let's hear it Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. Wait. Let's start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Except my Great. tower over there? See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Mmm. I don't think we should, um. Ah. <laughs> ah. We're not going to wreck their camp, are we? Surely not. Like, I know they're, like, being illegal and stuff, but... Can't we just tell them off? Like, it seems a bit excessive. To, like, completely ruin their camp. Hmm. 
I don't know. I'm gonna clean all their stuff though. Because we don't want the animals getting hurt. Because that wouldn't be very good. Okay, so... Supply drop. Cut com wire. Oh, okay. So I need to head back towards two forks. So I kind of need to go the way I came. Um, I want to go down here just to check this out, though. I'm going to go see what this is. Hello. Oh, I can go down here. Okay. Ah. Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you Two find miles. these assholes. Two miles, okay. you should probably head back to where you saw him last. The lake. Okay. So we head back towards our... Oh, that's not good. That's not good. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Hmm. Swipe. What does it mean, swipe? Swipe or no swiping. I got it. Brian Goodwin's backpack. Oh, I can't. It's, ugh. Flipping flashed me out. Well, I am flush with ropes now. Weepy. That pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this! This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left. Yeah, he only used three or four. Oh wow! Look. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know oh. him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. That sounds sus. Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Oh! Great kid. Oh. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. You guys keep in touch, you and the Goodwin kid? Nah, they took off pretty unceremoniously. Plus, what's a 40-year-old woman gonna do with a teenage pen pal? Mm, that sounds point. sus. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. I will. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, oh. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Hmm. Yay, you got the tug of shells. Let's go. Time to drive home. Time to drive home. You got this. One. Two. Three. Four. Fabulous. There you go. Write that down. Lovely, lovely. Uh, no, let's have a look. Guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went to check up on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual. So I figure I stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Okay. Do stone. Wow. Fabulous. Eh. Fossilized claw? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. That's cool. Maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Nice. Okay, so this way. Let's go. We don't need no map. We don't need no map. 
We can what use does our. She have? She's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa! How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's forty-three. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Awful. It was god awful. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. This is pretty. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't. Don't, don't even. Looks I'm like a fire came through here. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm. You're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. I'm a detective. I'm a detective. I'm a detective. We got this. Uh, what's this? I don't want to go that way. I I'm having go. a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Flapjack? Excuse me? Flapjack? You know, like a loser. A chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Yeah, Flapjack. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before... I bounce your face off a dumpster. It's beautiful. <laughs> um, east. Let's go this way. And um, drop the rope. I think this is the way anyway. Da, 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 da. Uh, I wonder, like, are we gonna carry on the story? Um, because, uh, I don't feel like we've, I mean, maybe we find the story when talking to this lady. Maybe. But, um, it was pretty interesting. That, like, because it said he liked Susan. Like, Mans, Mans did something with Susan, didn't he? So, I want to go south, this way. I'm getting good at this. I'm getting good at this. Hello? Oh yeah, this is where we came from. So, we're by the lake. Oh, the music kicked in. So, let's so, go... So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. <laughs> I stumbled over and told her she was pretty and that was it. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. I was drunk. So I called her pretty. <sighs> and now... She's in Australia. I wonder why we didn't go to Australia with her. I mean, I guess if he's not got like a job and stuff there, you can't go, but... Yay! I love how like... This is like, oh, a modern day romance you meet in a hey, bar. do you see that? What? No, but uh, maybe. See what, exactly? I can barely make it out, but there's a small wisp of smoke way down to the southwest. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek, it's in the southwest quadrant of your map. What, you, you think it's those girls? I'm pretty sure it's a campfire, so yeah. I'd call that a safe bet. Okay. Yeah, they really do not give a shit, do they? <sighs> not a one. Yeah, modern is Tinder now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> like meeting on the internet, not a bar anymore. So we have to go to the meadow by the lake. Um, we were nearly there, I think. We just gotta go through the canyon. Look, I'm gonna know this place by the back of my hand at the end of this. Here, maybe? Oh, I see it, I see it. Uh, 
uh, I could report it. Okay, I have eyes on go. that smoke plume. Great. Find your way over there and give them hell. Give them hell. I will. Don't worry, they're being naughty. I hear Ducky. I'm stuck. Oh shit. Oh no. I hear duckies. Can we go this way? Where's the path, bro? It's that way. Oh, this is where they were last time. Maybe we can go this way. Uh, or not. <laughs> you parked your car now you're too tired to get out. No, you can do it. You're nearly there. Where am I? Oh, um. Can I follow the lake? Okay, so I've got to go east. I gotta go east and then go down a thing. Um, and hopefully that will show me the way. This way? Did you drink? Did you drink something? Did you move your legs? We don't want you to get thrombosis. Yes, I have. I have had a drink. I should probably uh, move my legs. Let me find out what these girls are up to, and then I will um, take a little break um, and stretch my legs. Ah, here we are. Tell these girls what for first. You know, but don't worry, I've got a whole. It's like a liter, I think, of water. I've been, I've been sipping on it. I've been doing the good sippy. No worries, I appreciate it. I will um have a little wander. Once we find these what ladies, are you gonna do when the fire season wraps up? kick the shit out of them. Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Oh. But they agree to your decision. Susan is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. Mm -hmm. I'll think about it. She's right. She's right. They agreed with your decision, so I don't know what their beef is. Oops. Uh, two. I can't count. Three. Four. I'm glad these are all the same. She might have forgotten him and that would hurt him. True. But then again. He, I don't know. He might want to go see her because he's not seen her in a while. Ah, we're down here. Okay. Okay. We are heading in the right direction then. Difficult. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately. Mitch Michaels, age 31. Distinctive facial hair. Michael. Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jersey Lake. Okay, so we'll have a look. He first reported missing on the 29th of July by the Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. Mitch was seen around Jersey Lake. Okay. <laughs> I hope we're not going to find like a dead body or something. That'd be a bit rough. With most of them being in this area, the thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD'd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and... 
realize it was a bad idea. Self. I'll go put my thing away. PTSD. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. This she way. was in the army. She was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Aww. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Oh, bless. Also, she might get agitated, and that would be bad for her Alzheimer's. It's a tricky illness, especially early on. So, yeah. I mean, I don't think... <sighs> Maybe we won't go and see her, but... If he's not, like, said goodbye, um, maybe maybe he'd want to. Because they did live together, didn't they? And now she's in Australia, so far away. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I want to take a picture. Yay! Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Good. I'm gonna beat him up. Ba 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 ba! What I'm gonna do. Don't start fires in the woods. Ba 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 ba! Oh, this looks nice. Oh, uh, cute. Oh, I like it. Oh, what's that? Looks like a jacket. A sussy jacket. There's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. <laughs> Just take a picture of that real quick. You know, as you do. Scrap of fabric. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Can I get it? No. Okay. Um, check my map real quick. Uh, so we want to go north. Which is this way. Okay. <laughs> is there a photo contest? I mean, maybe. Oh, I was so gutted that we uh, missed the photo contest in Lake, you know. Uh, there would have been some good pictures, apart from me stopping in the middle of the road. Uh, <laughs> to um, catch that fox, and then I didn't get the fox. That's uh, I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? It seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What don't let them see is. me. Case of beer. I want These it. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. There's <laughs> some dedication. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? That's where I it's am. It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. <laughs> well, I found some dangerous hunks. <laughs> what on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. Oh damn, they're sleeping in a tiny little tent. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping oh, bags no. and be back. At this stage, take whatever you want. Oh no. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. It's not good. Their tent is fricked. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? Uh. It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah. Okay. Good thinking. Well, I better not use all these pictures then taking pictures of pretty things. There we go. I've been like, wow, pretty. 
that's what this is. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving where we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake. And then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Okay. Can I report it? But yeah, I can. Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. But you What's didn't tear up their campsite. Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? No! I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Because I Fuck, found I them know. the the lake. Uh -huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right. It's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, mm. me too. Interesting. Interesting. Uh... We didn't have to walk back to the to the place, which is good. I was like, oh damn, we're gonna have to walk all the way back. It was so long away. Okay. Uh find boards downstairs and patch up the window. Hey, Henry. Hello? Yeah. Um what do you look like? What's it to you? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Oh my god, it's my turtle! I could be Tom Cruise's good looking Hi. twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. Fuck off! It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC. Where or is she? Whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. <laughs> Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, hmm. I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know. It's my turtle. Hi. Now tell Hi. me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I Hi. see? Uh... <laughs> Look, I'm trying to talk to my my thing right now. Uh, well, uh I, yeah, pretty thick beard. yeah. He sounds like he's got a beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? I love you. For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? No, my uh, wife used to do that. Don't. <laughs> Don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. No, my wife used to draw Fine. me. Your eyes. Tell me. Uh, tired. They look tired, I think. Not just tired. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. Can I use this? But I guess that's getting no. old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Oh, here's one. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You... Get what you need. Got a couple Absolutely. more boards. Absolutely. Why are these just hanging out over here? What's that about? Spigot. What's a spigot? Oh! It's a tap. Yeah, my, um, my wife drew me naked. Yeah, it was in my journal when I freaking opened it up on here and I was like, oh! It was like a willy, bro. It was just full on willy on the screen. Cinder block. <gasps> Yeet! We might need that. Oh, we got loads of these now. Nice. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, that was that was just full on Willy on the screen. It was great. I don't know like what the terms are on if it's like a drawn Willy. It wasn't like in detail, but you know. Finally made it home. Hell yeah. 
my poor window, bro. Look at it. So sad. It's letting all the letting all the I got that window all patched up. Chilly out. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next True. is you sit in that room until September first and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh. oh. Yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh I'll give it to you. Oh, toilet paper. My turtle. I love my turtle. I'm ready. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Dupaja. Of course. No. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. Oh, look at there's them. Wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. I want to put it down gently. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. 